All right, metalheads, this is DJ Rem, and I have Paul from Strange Karma on the line. How are you today, sir? Very well, yourself? I am, I'm doing grand, man. That's so, good to hear. So I'm glad to see you made your destination. That's good. Yeah, yeah, no, so they have. Okay, so tell us what's going on with you guys. So you guys are over here on a tour, correct? That's correct, yeah. We, um, we started in uh, California. Um, we played a show at the Whiskey, and then we uh, went over to Las Vegas, uh, followed by Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Detroit. Um, we did a quick TV spot in Nashville, um, then went down to Austin, Dallas, and now we're on our way back uh, to Vegas. Very cool. Detroit. Yeah, I'm only about two hours from Detroit. Okay. We played at, uh, at a place called Harpo's, which was uh, pretty cool. Yep, I've heard of the place. I've never actually been there, but I've heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice nice big room. Yeah? How was the crowd? Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a combination. It was an all-age crowd, so it was really cool. Very good. So, you know, you guys, typically I stick more with metal. And you guys are definitely more on the hard rock side, but when I heard you guys, I was definitely was hooked and really dig your song, your stuff. So oh, That's great, man. Thank you. So what, um, I guess, can you go ahead and mention the other members of the band and what their spots are? Yeah, we've got my brother, Martin Strange, who um, is a lead vocalist, and he also plays the piano, um, acoustic, and, and rhythm electric as well. Um, we've got Jason McDonald on drums, and we've got Del Pajono on, on bass. Okay. How long have you guys all been together? Um, well, myself and my brother have been playing for a while. We, you know, we had different bands and stuff. Um, we had bands that we went to the UK with. Um, but as far as Strange Karma goes, Strange Karma has been together since um, uh, 2006, late 2006, 2007. Okay. So are you guys all from Australia, or do you have people from, like, all over the place? No, no, we're all from Australia. Um, uh, myself, my brother, and... and Jason Drums, um, we're from Sydney, and our bass player, Doe Pajerno, is from uh, Brisbane. Very cool. You're, and you're actually, you're the first band from Australia I've ever interviewed, so thank you. This oh, is cool. cool. No problem. <laughs> I was, uh, I just was li- wa- listening to some Australian, some stuff the other day. What was it I was listening to? Man. I'm, and I'm talking, I'm going way back. I'm going like to not, Midnight Oil. I was jamming to them the other night. Oh, nice. They're, uh, I've been I've been a fan of them since I came out, you know, back in the early '90s or whenever, late '80s, whenever it was they came out. So. Yeah, no, they're they're a cool cool band. So um, so how often do you guys? Obviously, you're on the road right now, but when when you're not on the road, how often do you guys get together and practice and all that stuff? Uh, look, we're we're playing together pretty much all the time, um, and as as far as the road trips, I mean, you know, we've done this one. This one's coming to an end. The last show is on the 30th at the Whiskey Go Go, and um, after that, we're we're you know regrouping and planning for next year, and hopefully next year we'll do uh, a longer tour. Uh, we're looking to do probably about two or three months and get get around to some more cities and um, just you know increase the uh, increase the exposure. Exactly. So how um, do you, what are you guys on a label right now, or are you independent? Uh, I've got distribution through FNA Records uh, in Nashville. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I was reading about that last night, actually. It's okay. Yeah. So, you know, obviously the music industry has changed a ton in the last several years. Yep. And so, how, I guess, what is your view, what is your overall view of the music industry and all the changes that have occurred? Oh, look, I guess, no, no doubt it's a lot harder than, than what it used to be, but... Um, but, you know, we, we, we do this because we love doing it, and, you know, we just keep going and, and just keep um, keep pushing forward. And, you know, you know, to answer your question, yeah, the industry has changed dramatically as far as, you know, download, digital, digital downloads and, and um, as far as, you know, CD sales and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we're a band that we like playing on the road. We like playing in front of people. So I guess that has, hasn't changed much. Right. So you guys have a lot of merchandise and stuff that you sell at your shows? Yes, we do. Good. Where, um, 
So what, where and when did you guys all get together and decide to, to start this thing and get this thing going? Um, well, look, myself and my brother have been playing together, you know, for, for years now, and we've always wanted, you know, uh, a, you know, a hard-hitting, you know, big kind of rock band. So, um, you know, as long as I can remember, you know, we've been, we've been sort of uh, pushing towards this goal. Very cool. So... Do you guys all are you are you able to do this full time or does everybody have like jobs on the side they do too? I mean, how how do you guys sustain yourselves? I guess. Uh, we're, we're doing this um, pretty much full time from now on. So excellent. Things, things are looking good. That's good. I like to hear that. I talk to a lot of bands and they they try to tour and and plus they have their jobs and all that stuff going on and I just can't imagine trying to juggle all that. Yeah, it's tough. You know, it's it's very tough and and. Especially, um, you know, we're a band that's across the Pacific. It's, it's, you know, very kind of the logistics of getting a band from Australia um, to the U.S. is quite difficult and quite hard as well. But it's all part of the challenge. It's all fun. Right. Good. So what? Um, where did you guys record this current album at? Uh, we recorded the album in a studio down in Melbourne, um, which is uh, a city south of uh, Sydney, where, where we're from. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't know a whole lot about Australia, but how is there, is there a pretty, for your style of, of rock, is there a pretty big um, uh, scene for that? No, there isn't, actually. Uh, the scene in Australia is quite dead, to be honest. I mean, you know, there's, there's not much going on. Um, I mean, you know, people down in Melbourne say they got a full scene, but really, you know, in reality, when you compare it to, to what's happening over here and how much opportunity is in, in the U.S., um, you know, we fall short of the mark, and you know, a, a lot of the uh, the music industry in Australia don't really support any kind of grassroots bands coming up and, and, and trying to make it. So, you know, to answer that question, the, the scene in Australia pretty much sucks, man. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, it is. Be. It is because it just makes you know makes everything all the more harder. Yeah. Well, yeah, especially when you're so far away from everything else where you guys are. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's that's. See, you got the U.S. You get to come to U.S. and I'm sure people. Uh, I know people are loving your stuff over here. So. Yeah, we're getting great response from from press and, and from from everybody that's exposed to it. Now it's just a matter of uh, exposing that that further and, and taking it to the masses. Right now, I only have. They only sent me one track, but I've been playing that one track, and everybody I played it for has loved it. So I've gotten good feedback and response on my show. Okay, what track is that that you have? Oh, Lord, let me let me check. Do a little search. Uh, America. Okay. Okay, uh, I can definitely send you some more tracks if you want to spin some more tracks. I would love to spin some more tracks. <laughs> cool, cool, no problem at all. So, but yeah, that, unfortunately, like I said, unfortunately, I, I mean, I have listened to some trying to think it seems like you have some stuff on youtube seems like i've listened to some other stuff yeah yeah we do have some stuff on youtube and we've got um uh, a few songs also on the facebook and myspace and, and all that kind of stuff on, on our website as well right um strange you can get some samples of, of some of the other tracks of the album and there's a couple of other full songs on there as well right. well yeah you send me you know whatever as much as you can because what i'll do is when I play when I play the interview back on my show when I get done I always play the the band's current album in its entirety so okay I like that's to right. I'll, I'll sort that out for you no problem at all okay very cool I appreciate it I just I got a um I couldn't remember if they said they were going to send me a CD or not and yesterday I get mail from Australia I'm like oh I hope it's Strange Karma it wasn't Strange Karma it was another band from Australia but oh wow the band was. Um, Beyond Mortal Dreams. I don't know if you ever heard of them. No, do you know where they're from? Which city? Uh, they're metal. They are... Uh, Adelaide. Hello. Hey, Spencer, it's Paul again from Strange Karma. Hey, what, hap- what's, what happened? What's what happened? You lose service? I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of went dead. Yeah, it went dead on me too, so I'm like, okay, I'll hang up and... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That was weird. That's service. I'm I'm pulled over. We're in um we're in Arizona at the moment, uh, on our way to to Vegas. Uh huh. And it's telling me I got full bars here, so I don't know. 
Uh, who knows? No biggie. Who knows? Okay. Right, okay, so to answer the question, that band I was telling you about, they're from Adelaide. Okay. So, anyways, enough about that. More about you guys. Okay. So, what 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 got you into... I'm trying to remember if I asked you this now. What really got you into music and got you started in the whole, this, you know what, hey, this is what I want to do? Oh, look, I think it goes back to, um, you know, my parents, uh, as in mine and my brother's parents, um, you know, they used to listen, or they still listen to really cool music, and we always used to have cool stuff around the house, like, you know, listen to Jimi Hendrix and Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, and all that kind of stuff. And and my old man actually used to play to play guitar as well, and and he used to like you know sing like um, Hey Joe as a as a lullaby for us when we were oh, nice. so little, you know. So it all kind of started from from there, and and you know we started playing together, and um, you know it just just happened real naturally. What are some of your favorite American bands? Um, oh, there's a fair few. Um, you know, uh, Aerosmith comes to mind is, is, is a real good one. Um, Guns N' Roses. I like System of a Down as well. Um, our influences are really kind of varied. So, um, you know, there's, there's plenty. Cool, cool. I, I dig all those bands as well. What... What's a here's here's a good question for you. What's okay. the craziest thing that's happened to you guys at a show? Uh, we've had a we've had a heckler one time um, came out with a full blown with a big knife and stuff. I don't think it was after us. I think it was just they had a something something bad happen and and um, security came and got him and then security locked kind of everybody in, in the venue for a while until you know the police came and got his bad away. So that was one of the craziest I, th- I guess things. <laughs> But, but there's, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff that I'd rather, rather just keep to ourselves. Right, I get you, I get you. <laughs> I, I had a band one time, I asked them that question, and they told me that, oh, I think it was their guitar player or something, he got so trashed that he tried to take a, take a bong hit off the fog machine. <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty classic. Yeah, well that happens, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Yeah. So, on your, on your uh, well, I guess any of your current tracks that you guys are playing live and uh, in your shows, what's your, do you have a favorite to play? Is there, is there one that just really brings the crowd? I mean, the crowd goes wild for all of it, but is there that one track that just gets the crowd going crazier than ever? Um, we're actually playing a couple of new tracks that are not on the album, and we're getting great response from, from, from those. Um, one in particular is called Devil from the Moon, which, which hopefully we'll be recording on the next album. Um, but off the current album, I think America, hands down, um, gets the crowd kind of kind of grooving along to it. So, so what's the uh, what's you guys' creative process for writing songs and, and, and creating an album? Who um, is it like a collaborative effort, or is it is there like one person that does more than the rest? I guess what's your process? I guess. Well, Marty, Marty does a lot of the writing. He does a lot of the lyrics, and and you know, does a lot of stuff on the piano and acoustic, and I write riffs. We we work, you know, pretty well together um, as far as as far as putting the songs down. Um, as far as the creative process for the album, I mean, we have a lot of lot of songs already kind of completed, um, and we're just just waiting to put them down. So when it came time time to do the first album, it was just a question of which songs to leave out and which songs to put on and and all that. So, um, I mean, it took us 13 days to record the album. It was, you know, real quick, and we had a limited budget, so we had to just get in there and just nail it um, real quick. So, um, you know, we're not one of those bands that go into a studio for six months and, you know, try to get stuff sorted. Uh, we got a lot of songs, you know, already recording, uh, sorry, already written. We just need to kind of figure out which ones will go on the next album and, and so forth. Well, that's, that's good. It definitely makes it... Yeah, some of these bands it takes them two years to get an album out. I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess that happens when you know if a band gets picked up real quick and and you know they've perfected their their you know their first live set and they record their first album when it comes to recording now and they haven't got material then I guess they put under pressure because the label wants them to get something out and 
and you know that's what makes it harder and I guess that's what you know takes takes the time right no, no doubt how'd you guys come I, can, I think I kind of already have an idea about this but how'd you guys come up with the name for the band well my brother and myself you know it's Paul and Martin Strange and, and when Jason hooked up with us he kind of you know suggested the name Strange Karma and, and we just you know ran with it it was real, real kind of you know bit of a quick process it sounded pretty cool so we just went for it very nice what um any advice you have for other bands that are trying to um you know to get to the level you guys are at i mean what what's a band need to do besides hard work uh man it's just that's just it just a lot of hard work you got to be resilient uh you got to have really thick skin and you know um be prepared for, for failure man the more times you fail the closer you are to success i guess that's that's what they say. So, you know, just it's just a matter of being very resilient and and you know knowing what you want, and not following any kind of trends or any anybody else what anybody else is doing, and just um, stay true to yourself and go hard. Very good. So, when you guys aren't on tour and you're and you're not writing music and, and doing all that, what do you guys do to just chill? Uh, you know, we're, everyone's different. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, we're we're extremely busy just trying to get ourselves out and 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 motivated. So we don't we don't have that much, you know, d- downtime just sitting around doing doing not much. So as soon as we finish this thing, we'll be planning the next tour and and uh, there's a lot of stuff involved to you know getting the band over to the U.S. So we'll be pretty busy. Right now, I think I read you guys have another show at Whiskey A Go Go coming up. That's right. Yeah, on the thirtieth of this month. Oh, excellent. Well. Good luck to you at that show. I'm sure you'll rock it. Thank you. Okay, so since here's your shameless self-promotion time. Where can people buy the album if they want to buy it? Uh, they can go to uh, you know Amazon's, iTunes, or what have you. Um, all the links are on our website. If they go to www.strangekarma.net, um, you'll have all the links for physical copies or digital downloads or whatever they want. Um, we're also working to get uh, our record in some of the independent stores throughout um, throughout the country as well. So uh, just stay tuned for, for more details on our website. Okay, we will do that. Anything else you'd like uh, the world and all my listeners when I play this back to uh, know about Strange Karma? No, just you know, we're just a bunch of cool guys trying to you know trying to rock out and just take a chance on us, man. That's about it. Have a listen, see if you like it, and um, that's about it. Well, and I'm going to um, second that because talking to you, you, seem, you guys seem very down to earth, and I really appreciate that. So, No worries, man. Thank you. Thanks for the time, man. Yeah, definitely. It was, it's, my, it's my pleasure. I love to talk to bands that I've never, well, that I've never heard, and when I hear a band, I'm like, oh, these guys are cool, and, and get a chance to chit-chat. You know, I really don't try to make this isn't any, like, nor, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't really follow a script. I just kind of ask things that come to my mind when I'm talking to you guys. I honestly don't really do a whole lot of research about a band either. I just, you know what, I'm just going to sit down and BS with these guys, and whatever we talk about is what we talk about. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's nice and natural. Yeah, I just, you know, I read some of these interviews that, that people do and they, that they um, that they post on these webzines and stuff, and it's cool. I'm glad they do it, but it's just so structured. It's just like... I just yeah. I, I want to fall asleep. <laughs> I guess the last thing I have to ask you is if you can make a couple of radio tags for me. Yeah, sure. If you don't mind. So if you can make one that says this is Paul from Strange Karma and you're listening to DJ Rem at metalheadradio.com. Uh, it's metalheadradio.com, yep. DJ Rem. Yep. Okay. Uh, ready when you want. Go ahead. This is Paul from Strange Karma. You're listening to DJ Rim at Metalhead Radio. Perfect, man. Okay, and if I give you make one more, say the same thing, but just leave the DJ Rim part out just for a station tag. Okay. Yo, this is Paul from Strange Karma. You're listening to Metalhead... Sorry, man. Can I do it again? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, this is Paul from Strange Karma. You're listening to Metalhead Radio. Good, man. I'm gonna one of these days when I actually have time. I'm gonna go back through all my interviews and pull all the bloopers, all the bloopers out because <laughs> there's one on every single interview. Uh, some people say it with such enthusiasm, don't they? Yep. <laughs> huh? 
So, okay, well, I, uh, I'll let you go. I just, thanks again for uh, calling and, and talking to me. And please tell everybody else in the band I said hello. I certainly will. And, yeah, anything you can do to get me some more tracks would be great, because like I said, when I uh, play the interview back when I'm done, I will be playing whatever tunes of yours I have, I'll be playing them after the interview. So. Okay, um, what's your email address? It's um, DJ Rem. R-E-M? Yep, dot M-H-R uh-huh. at gmail.com. <coughs> You got it. Okay, man. I'll send you. Um, I'll send you some tracks. Okay. Perfect. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks very much. Yeah. Okay. Take care. You have a nice day. Yeah. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye.